Yo you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazonary here and today in this video I want to show you my top 25 pieces from my collection that I deem is like my personal favorite. This video isn't sorted in any particular order. I just grabbed a bunch of items around from my collection that I thought were my personal favorite because y'all all the time are asking me what's my favorite sneaker, what's my favorite accessory that I own, and I think I can answer all of your questions right here with this video. So make sure you guys go ahead, leave a like if you're excited, and shout out to everybody that's been watching and keeping up with my daily vlog series. I really hope you guys enjoy. I've been working so, so hard. Let's go ahead and start off this video with a bang I'm gonna do this off-white Air Force as one of my favorite pairs of sneakers in my collection now this is one of my favorites because it is a sneaker that I can go downstairs and throw on right away I don't have to think about wearing this sneaker really at all that's because of the price that I bought it at when I got these I got them right around the drop uh, and I was in London 450 bucks at the time now these things are going for well over a thousand dollars and I just have no problem wearing them out super clean and casual and I absolutely love the Air Force it's probably my favorite Nike model ever next up I want to show you one of my hoodies that I got that was an absolute grail for me back when I started off my channel this right here is a Supreme CDG box logo hoodie. That box logo is backwards. This is a really sought after piece and the amount of fakes that exist in this hoodie is unbelievable. So when I was able to purchase a real one back in I think it was 2017, I absolutely love this hoodie. Unfortunately, it does not fit anymore and I have to sell it on my website, blazonary.com. Now some accessories that I wanna do right here, we have the Supreme Water Pistols. Now I also got these right around the time of 2016, 2017. I was really getting heavy into the Supreme and streetwear, and a lot of people can recognize these, especially if you were collecting in the 2016 era. I unboxed them at a huge Supreme lot that I bought online, and they were part of the package. Next up, I want to show you two t-shirts from the collection that we have right here. First up is an opening soon New York City Bape Tee, and this is a college logo from about maybe 2004 when they opened up the store. And this right here is another New York City Bape Tee from 2006. And this one is when they of course had the store open and the Statue of Liberty Bape head is on the front of it. I love these pieces because I'm from New York and the brand Bape has some really strong roots here. I'm oftentimes wearing these two tees the most out of my Bape collection. Next up, we have a sneaker that I've bought and sold several, several times. This is the Air Yeezy 2 Platinum, and one of my favorite sneakers of all time as well. This is a sneaker that came out in 2012, and one of my favorite things about it is that it is never going to come out again. You can never expect a retro on these because Kanye is obviously no longer with the Nike brand. This was his exit out of the sneaker game in 2012 with Nike and people have been deeming these one of the best Yeezys of all time, of course, next to the Red O's. I think personally they're better than the Red O's, and if I could, I would double or triple up on a few more pairs over the next couple years. The reason why I've bought and sold these so many different times is because the prices fluctuated like crazy over the years, especially when his Yeezys came out with Adidas, nobody was really even talking about these. So I swooped in and grabbed a couple pairs for the low, sold them for the high, and I probably got this pair off of all the profit that I made selling the pairs. Next up, we have another pickup that's from London, and it's around the same time that I got the Air Forces from the first item that I showed you. This right here is the Mountain Ball Toro Jacket, a collaboration between Supreme and North Face. And the reason why this is one of my favorite in the collection is because I don't have another Ball Toro Jacket, and the print on it is amazing. Nothing really else to say other than the fact that, of course, the jacket resells. I got it for a little over retail when it first came out, and I'm super grateful to have had the opportunity to be in London when it came out and we got some crazy day of release pictures shout out to ben and ari uh, we had a blast here's another item from the supreme lot that i had a couple years ago this is the new testament stash bible and it's obviously not a bible because if you open it up it's a stash book it's meant to look like a book but you put it on a shelf maybe you got some valuables or something you want to put in here I just think it's a really cool display piece and I've watched the price of this thing rise over time just because of how rare it is and not a lot of people even know it exists then right here we have a pair of great fives from 1990 these were soul swapped by a professional restorer and my favorite part about them is that OG Nike Air on the back of the sneaker. I got these back at a sneaker con a couple years ago and they're a staple in my collection because I've always wanted the Grape Fives. And what I love about these the most is the fact that this leather up here 
is very, very old. And it's a quality that you're not gonna ever find on a Jordan again. They were using some really high quality premium goods back then, not like the stuff that's coming out today. I wish they went back to this level of quality. And I love that original look of the Air Jordans. Now, speaking of Air Jordans, there's a couple more pairs that I'm trying to add into the collection. Back when I went to Austin, Texas a couple weeks ago, I met up with some really dope guys from the Trade Block team, and they have a really unique app that allows you to trade sneakers within the app. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to download it because I promise y'all, I need your trade. I have a small wish list of items that I really am looking for in my collection, such as the Air Jordan 1 Universities, and I cannot believe I don't have the shattered backboards in my collection anymore, so I once again need a pair brand new or used. Recently on the vlogs, we've been doing a ton of trading, going to a bunch of different stores but what i love about trade block is you can create a trade for a lot of different sneakers with hundreds of different users right now from the comfort of your own home you guys might have seen a few videos now where we tried to trade these gym red ones for something and we haven't gotten anybody that will take them but i guarantee you if i list them on trade block somebody's gonna want to trade me for something and maybe even add some cash to list the sneaker you hit this little plus icon type in the model so air jordan one tap add the closet and then i have a used pair so we're gonna add some photos and now they've been added to our closet, so you guys can go ahead and make me some offers. If you see a shoe you like on the app, just hit the little like icon and set if you want a dead stock or use condition. If you want to list a dead stock sneaker, you just hit this little plus icon. I have these in a size nine and a half, and I'm just gonna hit add because they're brand new and dead stock. So make sure you guys give me some good trades. I'm gonna be using this app to try and trade off sneakers like these that I've just had in the collection. I've been trying to trade them for a while. You can download this on iOS and Android. I'll leave the links in the description below. I'm gonna add a pair to my closet just cause why not? Let's see what you guys got. All right, y'all, the next item I got for you is gonna be a Supreme piece that I got when I was in Los Angeles, California a couple years back. Got it from a super exclusive store that deals with a lot of these high-end items. And my favorite part about it is how limited it is, and most importantly, the color purple. Obviously, you guys know I'm a huge purple head. Anything purple, I gotta have it. And this is one of the rarest box logos of all time, just because of how limited in production it was. Another unique Supreme item that I have is the Supreme Burner Phone. If you guys did not know, yes, yeah, Supreme made a burner phone. I'm gonna take this one out and show you guys what it's all about. It is literally, guys, as you can see, a phone straight from 2008. No way Supreme made a phone. They really did. Let's see if this one has any juice in it. Oh, it actually does. Check that out, guys. The Supreme Burner Phone. These retailed for around $75, and they're going for around $150 or $200. There's not much of a purpose for this guy, and I actually made a full video about it already. Pure Jump. A little platformer game. It's got a little frog on it. Oh, it's based on how long you press the middle button for. Here's another unique accessory. This is a Bape Transformer from the year, I think, 2005. It's all in Japanese because this was a Japan-only release. And it's Optimus Prime, of course, as you guys can see on the front. I haven't seen one of these in person ever, so items like this that are super unique and old, hard to find, they're really my favorite out of my collection in general. I have a lot of items like this on my display. It's really tough to try and pick which are my favorite. This is another Bape Transformers truck. This is a different model, as you guys can see, but uh, I just absolutely love these unique, unique items. Now, speaking of another rare item, this is the Strawberry Cough Nike Dunk. And I got this sneaker last year when they were supposed to come out on 420, but of course they did not come out, well, because of one specific detail. The little cough cough image that's right there on the sneaker because of obviously everything going on, the world events, COVID, saying cough cough on a sneaker is probably not in Nike's best interest. So the release was either postponed or canceled. Everybody assumed they would release again in July, but that did not happen. And I don't know if these will ever release. I think they're a super unique pair. I don't know if I'll ever even wear them because they are brand new. I wanna try and preserve the rarity and the value. At the same time, I could bust them out though, if by chance Nike was like, hey, we're gonna drop them. Really gorgeous pair though, the red and green. It's certainly a funky looking sneaker. Probably wouldn't wear it too often, especially because of that rarity. And there's an icy bottom, so why would I wanna make that PP yellow? This is one of my first ever Supreme Nupsy jackets. I remember when this thing released at retail and of course I couldn't get it. I could not compete with everybody on the site at that time. And this jacket was going for a lot of money for a while. And so what I did was I worked really hard reselling a bunch of items back in 2016, 2017. And I was able to get this jacket pre-owned from somebody else. So a lot of the times guys, it's so funny. You guys think like I buy everything brand new. 
not all the time. And I love going to events like SneakerCon because the best part about it is you can get these items pre-owned for cheaper. And so I secured this jacket for way less than it would have went for brand new. This right here is a Bape Rolex that I got from my man Bape Hype Man. No, it's not a real Rolex. It's called a Bape X. I'm going to show you guys one more time. It comes with a really special watch band. It had a whole nice box. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous timepiece, and I really want to thank once again my man Bape Hype Man for such an incredible gift. Now, the shoe that started it all for me are going to be the Air Jordan 4 Militaries. I've bought and sold these things a lot of the time too. I only kept outgrowing the pairs. So this is the final military that I'm going to have. This is the 2012 Air Jordan 4. I hope to see them release the one with the Nike Air on the back. That would be absolutely sick. In 2012, I got these in a youth size and I was obsessed with sneaker collecting ever since. If it wasn't for this pair, I would not be in the game at all. Yeah, I just, I love this pair. It's, it's one of my favorite colors, blue. Purple is like very close to blue, so I, it kind of goes back and forth between the two. But yeah, this is, a, this is a staple in the collection. I absolutely love them. Now these right here are a special gift from the homie Ugly God. I went to one of his concerts in North Carolina and he let me on the stage take a bunch of video. I, think I, I deposited all my cash like a dummy. I forgot we were supposed to do this, so I'm just going to PayPal you like everything. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Hey, we're out here back. Stage. I'll sit here just listen to music. He pulled up on me. So I'm like gang stuff. You feel me? Biggest hype beats on the planet. Gang. You heard it here. It was super lit and he gave me these glasses after the show. They stay posted on my shelf because this is once again a piece from the collection that has so much memory to me. So shout out to Royce. Thanks man for these and let's go on to the next item. This right here was a pair for me that I could not even believe I got in the collection at some point. The Galaxy Nike Air Foam Posit. This was the sneaker that came out in All-Star Weekend. I think it was 2012 or 2011. I remember so vividly I wanted a pair so bad. I was actually gonna buy a fake pair on like some website for like 200 bucks because they were still going for like a thousand dollars back at the time and I didn't have that kind of money when I was 12 years old. But let me just tell you, when I got these brand new in dead stock, I probably won't ever wear them, especially because of just the history. One of the classics forever. I really hope Nike does not re-release them. This right here is a super unique Supreme accessory. Another one of my favorites in the collection because you don't see it all the time. This is a comb and I could actually really use one. And, and as well as a, a comb, I could also use a haircut. Let me just say that. This is a super recent pickup right here. We have the off-white MCAs and I got a size eight and a half. I'm telling y'all, if you're thinking about getting a pair, get them a size lower than you normally rock. So I rock a nine and a half, but these are an eight and a half and they fit me literally perfectly. I don't understand why. Maybe it's the material or whatever Virgil did to them. They, they just don't fit. Uh, like a traditional Air Force. I think these will continue to rise in value and I don't know why Nike would do something like retro them. So I think you should get a pair while they just continue to skyrocket. Here's another unique Supreme item that I have from the collection. This is a Supreme Louis Vuitton little pocket knife. This thing, you wouldn't even believe how much it actually goes for. It's like a thousand dollars, which is honestly really crazy. It's got, of course, all the Swiss utilities, the signature Louis Vuitton clip, the signature Louis Vuitton logo, and a Supreme logo right on the front. It's one of my favorite items in the collection because this collection right here, the Supreme Louis Vuitton collection, was such a major part of my channel and when I was covering that stuff back at the time that I really was trying to get a lot of it and it was so tough to get my hands on it, but this I actually got for around retail cost and it commemorates a time in history that I just will never forget. That, that release was crazy, if you guys remember it. It was talked about for months and months and this is still one of those items in my collection that I don't think I'm ever gonna part ways with. Now let's end this video with a bang. We have a few more ending items. This one right here is my bespoke Nike Air Force. If you guys didn't know, you could design your own Nike sneaker at one point in time, but the Nike lab right now is currently closed and they aren't doing any visitations. So I got them right before that happened and you pay $1,000, you could take an Air Force, an Air Force Low or an Air Max and completely change and customize them, whatever materials you want. I have a whole video about the process. It was a ton of fun and an experience I definitely want to do again. I would love to go back in there, make another rendition of an Air Force. Maybe I'll do like a blue colorway of these or something like that. I think that'd go so crazy. And uh, yeah, it was an experience I'll never forget. Obviously it says my name, Blazendary, in the Algerian font, the plus 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 on the back heel, my logo, 
the dragon scale purple swoosh that liner is no longer used it's only on traditional air forces from like the 2000 early era i'm glad i was able to put this waffle like liner inside of it up next this is a jacket that's absolutely crazy and i don't even wear it all that much but i love the tv glitch style edits you guys know i do them all the time in my videos so when i saw a jacket that released just like it i had to grab it this is the extra butter nyc nupsy so it was a collab between a store and north face and they aren't really that common you don't see too many people rocking them so i think it's a unique piece and it's one of a kind and lastly guys we have the nike mags one of my staples in the collection most definitely one of my favorite pairs if not of course my favorite pair in my collection this is my number one favorite sneaker I worked so hard to get these five years ago, I can't even believe it was five years ago now that I've had this pair, and I wear them to every sneaker con, and they're of course just a sneaker grail. I love the Back to the Future movie series. I would love to have a pair of the Auto Lace. Maybe at some point in time I could get them, but for now, I will stick to the originals right here. And once again, if you saw my investment video, I did buy these for $3,300, and they of course jumped in value. 3x my money if I want to sell them. They're worth around 10 grand because I have the box and all the papers, etc. I wish the lights worked, but once again, I love this pair and they're an absolute grail. I'll have them literally forever. I'll never sell them. Oh, would you look at that? That's a, that wasn't the last item. The last one we have a purple on purple crew neck, self explanatory, favorite colors, and super cool box logo. Hope y'all really enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out Trade Block. I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can go ahead and start listing and trading your sneakers. I'll catch y'all with another daily vlog tomorrow. It's your boy Blazonary. We're signing out. Stay positive, guys, and peace out.